Well, how do that, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, in this video, I'm going to be testing out that guy, the Exomech, inside of VR. So we're going to be getting inside of it. Let's let's go do this, people. Right out. Hello there, Exomech. Hold still. I'm getting in. Holy fudge! Ha 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 ha! We have joysticks. Well, how do I? Well, yeah. How how do I um? charge up this uh, weapon inside of here let's have a look okay better let go of that reload there we go but there's nothing that really comes up on here that tells me to do anything you see this just makes me rotate that makes me rotate this makes me look around okay but there is nothing that makes me actually take steps backwards and forwards when i press the trigger button it fires that when I use this trigger button, it doesn't do anything. Let's try that on there. Oh, here we go. It's working now. And I'm not using any triggers. I, I'm not doing anything differently than I was doing before. It's working now. I guess just getting in it and back out of it, turning it off and on again, seems to have fixed it. It's working fine now. Yeah, I, it's this joystick over on the left-hand side that makes me move forwards. Ah, it stopped working again. Oh, there we go. Nope, it stopped working again. <laughs> it stopped working again. Oh, here we go. So what I have to do is hold down... Oh, it stopped working again. And there you go, now it's working again. So I have to uh, squeeze the controller and press up on the little hat stand mushroom stick on the left hand side to make it move. And it moves so slowly, it's hard to even notice that you're moving. And aiming this, it kind of goes where you're looking. Okay. All right, well, let's um, let's change weapon for a second to that one. And let's see if it does go where I'm looking. Oh, it does go where I'm looking. Where I move my head is where it does the flamethrower. Right. OK, that makes a bit of sense. Oh, that's not it's really quite finicky. And this is rather odd. I mean, it's walking, but it's sort of stopped. I don't know whether I've got caught on some terrain. Some places it just refuses to walk. It's walking fine now, but just barely. It looks great. Practicality though, in VR, it's a it's a it's workable workable but it's it's like freaking navigating a bloody tank i wouldn't want to play the whole game like this no not not in my exo mech i wouldn't anyway yeah i'm thinking about doing a video on how they could improve the uses of each of the exo crafts i was thinking about doing it in vr hence why i'm testing in vr right now to see if it would be you know worthwhile or whether it just frustrate the pants out of me I kind of got a feeling it will frustrate the pants out of me in VR. I might have to do it inside of uh, non-VR, to be honest, but there we go. It looks like I'm piloting it okay now, and I've sort of worked out the controls. So to move it is all on the left stick. To do your weapons and to look around is on the right stick. But when you are using the weapon, you use your head. You move your head up and down to point it in different directions. It locks onto where you're looking. Pretty darn cool, pretty groovy, but at the same time, not that user intuitive to be honest it could do with a better tutorial on that maybe if you're playing the story mode maybe it does give you a tutorial but there we go people there's my exo mech isn't he looking awesome i guess he is right where's that quick menu gone there it is chicka boom and uh, hide that menu well there we go people so that's me captain of the steves with my exo mechy friend there 
Wishing you a very good day out there in the view of us. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people in the view of us. Heck yeah. Dr. Steve, Dr. Steve.